audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person Taurus. And I'll also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign Taurus, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Taurus, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Taurus, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Taurus. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you the most and why and how, right? That's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. So um, if you do find a card that resonates with you, uh, Taurus, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me, Taurus. And then finally, this reading's here just to give you some food for thought. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine. So with all that being said, Taurus, let's start getting into your reading. <clears throat> The overall energies that we have for this week for you, Taurus, is the Frog Spirit, number 28, so one for numerology. This card says, clear out the clutter. So this could mean, I mean, it could, I mean, I feel like most people would associate this in terms of like your environment, right? Uh, cleaning up your space, doing a little bit of uh, spring cleaning. But I dare I say, I feel like this is more so associated with like the clutter in your mind when it comes to the connection, this connection. Um, just off of a whim, I really do feel like this is a situation where like perhaps towards there's like some overthinking when it comes to this connection. There's some a little bit of spiraling, perhaps. Maybe, it, you know, it's very much so like an energy of being like, oh, like you, Taurus, like you reading their text message, you're texting them and it's like they didn't text quick enough or when they sent that text, like they added a period in a place that they normally wouldn't add a period or they're using the punctuation that they normally wouldn't use punctuation and you're overanalyzing it or maybe their body language, they said something or didn't say something. So you're overanalyzing it and then going into a narrative and that starts giving you a spiral and then it just starts cluttering your mind and kind of makes you lose vision, lose sight of um, just the connection in general. And like, you can't really tell like what is even really real and like what is just like your projection anymore because it just it just all becomes hazy. And then the other animal card that came in for your overall energy this week is the zebra card. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. So Taurus, uh, so Taurus, this is an energy of where, let's just go along with what I was saying. Let's just say you have like trust issues or abandonment issues, Taurus. Mm. Um, and when it comes to this connection, whether it's platonic or romantic, um, that gets triggered in some type of way. Or like you start overanalyzing things because you have those issues. And so if you start seeing behaviors that you would associate with other people that maybe like abandoned you in your life, you start getting triggered, you start spiraling, you start filling your mind with that clutter. You need to let go of that fear. It's your fears that seems to be instilling this clutter and when it comes to your brain and, and this connection. Now that's not me saying like some of your um, thoughts when it comes to this connection aren't true, uh, Taurus, right? That's absolutely not the case. It just is, I feel like you kind of need to keep things in perspective, keep a level head when it comes to this connection and, and acknowledge where your ego or your just like the thoughts are being a little bit too much where you start projecting your own insecurities on the relationship. Um, that doesn't leave them scot-free, right? Because then it leaves you to wonder, it's like, well, why is it triggered in the first place? Um, but it could be one many reasons, right? It could be just a situation, you know, like you just needed, needing to do some shadow work, you know, doing some therapy, doing some self-reflection on why you have these abandonment issues. Or it could be like this person is just being crappy to you and like triggering you and you need to let go of them, right? It, it could be any type of way, um, Taurus, and I'm not going to tell you which way because... I don't know, right? But to view this place of connection from a level head, and I feel like the answers will come to for you, to you, for you. 
Uh, but let's start getting into t the tarot side of things now, Taurus, now that I was babbling for so long about that. Uh, Taurus, I'm going to pull a card for you, I'm going to pull a card for them, and I'm going to pull a card for the energy between y'all two and this connection. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic connection, but I am going to just use the phrase of uh, relationship, but you can have a platonic friendship that is a relationship, right? Um, like, we all have relationships in our life. Um, so let's get into this energy now. Seven of Earth. <laughs> oh, Taurus, you're probably going to feel personally attacked by me. And I apologize ahead of time, but I'm not really sorry. Um, because I really feel like putting a spotlight on this is really going to assist you more than just in this connection. And I can say that with confidence because I can really relate to this. You're probably a fairly anxious person. Um, maybe not in general with all things in life, Taurus, but when it comes to maybe like um, just specific things like relationships and stuff like that, that's where your anxiety starts bubbling in. So perhaps that's why um, you're not even aware of this habit that you might be doing because when it comes to like your workplace, perhaps Taurus, you're like the most level-headed person ever. Um, you're used to being viewed as like, people looking up to you and you being just bossed up and just being the responsible one. So your mind when it's like, oh, anxiety, projections, like it doesn't even register. But I do feel like this is something that you need to address. Seven of Earth is the seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action and unnecessary worry. When this in this deck, uh, Taurus, this is interesting because I start real talking about this as like the mental garden. And what I mean by the mental garden is that we all have like this mental garden and we will plant seeds into this mental garden. And so if you start planting a bunch of like, <clears throat> I'm talking a bunch, so I start retaining a bunch of air, I apologize. Um, so if you start planting see these seeds of where it's just like overthinking, overanalyzing these behaviors, and you start feeding energy into them, putting, uh, start convincing yourself of like a narrative of a storyline that isn't even accurate anymore, but you forget about it, that it's not even accurate. Um, those seeds will start sprouting and just start really growing into like these big bushy weeds and it starts cluttering your mind, right? And so it takes away space, takes away any other space for like those other seeds to grow that are actually like help, uh, give, that like feed positive thoughts when it comes to this connection, right? So I laugh because this card is just such a fitting card for what I was saying for this entire, like all prior. It's, it just goes so perfectly for my analogy. So it does just confirm to me that I was right. Um, <laughs> I don't need to look so smug when it comes to that though, do I? Uh, let's look at their side though. They have the awakening card. Didn't I say, the, like, I think, I feel like I said something about awakening at the beginning. Maybe I didn't, uh, but this card is number three for them. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So, so uh, I almost called you Sagittarius, Taurus, I apologize. Uh, Taurus, I see this from a person of where I, I don't think they're aware of your spiral. I feel like if you were to talk to them about this, which you could, right? I feel like it wouldn't be a bad thing, but you know, it's easy for me to say it when I'm not the one having to have the conversation, right? Um, I don't see them aware that you're having these spirals. And maybe even because of that, that's triggering you even more because you're expecting them to react in a way that they're not reacting to because they're not aware that there's even an issue in the first place that they need to react to. Um, this does give me a sense of where someone, this person could just be distracted with other things in their life or this could give me a sense, uh, almost called you Sagittarius again. This could give me a sense, Taurus, that they're just very, um, ignorance is bliss, very unaware of the world, um, and what's around them. Very just airheaded. <laughs> that probably sounded rude, didn't it? Uh, but the energy between y'all two is the Ace of Fire. Ace of Fire, this card says, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, and changing your life now. But I also, this Ace of Fire is the Ace of Wands. Uh, so it is talking about forward movement. So there is like this push for action when it comes to this connection. And when you have it where it says change your life now, there needs to be some type of action when it comes to this connection. Um, 
for there to be a type of change, right? I feel like for some, a lot of you Tauruses, you've been in kind of stuck in this little limbo, or stuck in this loop. Like the only reason why you're having all these seeds, like like these seeds didn't just sprout out of nowhere, right? This clutter didn't just come out of nowhere. I feel like this has been something that you've been stuck in for a while when it comes with this person, Taurus, and it's just like, that's what's causing you to act in a way that you probably wouldn't even recognize yourself normally as, where it's just like, you know, it's just like, who? me anxious like who are you talking about right i feel like this is like this person is really bringing out characters of yourself that you're not used to um so let's start looking at clarifiers now i'm gonna start pulling clarifiers for your seven uh, seven of earth taurus see what's up with that see what insight what more insight we can get in regards to them all right so we have the knight of cups i do Okay, this is going to be just such a side message for Tauruses, but if you, and those who are doing this reading in regards to someone that they care about and want a relationship with, I can't help but feel to say, like, you don't want to let go of this connection because there's anxiety because it's just like, you don't want to think about what life is like without them, or you don't know if you would have another offer come into your life again. Maybe you've been, like... There hasn't been that many offers for a while, so when you finally had an offer or someone that seems interested, you kind of just want to like uh, work it out with them and just try to make it work. But I do want to say I do see someone new coming in if you choose to let this go, right? If you choose to realize and be like, okay, like I don't like what this person is causing in me, and you realize that it's not just like your own issues, it is them that um, is causing this in you um and you choose to move on i do see like you don't need to have that nine of swords anxiety i see things working out for you the other anxiety card honey in taurus my gosh are you okay <laughs> uh, yeah like five of pentacles i just so much anxiety you feel left out in the cold in some type of way eight of cups moving on to bigger and better this is turning it into a completely different reading than i anticipated there is such a push asking you to move on i'm gonna be honest taurus but Oh my gosh. Uh, five of Wands. Conflict. Taurus. Uh, I can't lie, right? I, you know, like, all my readings obviously can't be rainbows and sunshine, and they're definitely not. Um, but it, I don't... From your perspective, I guess, it does not seem like an energy that's good for you. This connection doesn't seem like it's doing you good. Um, and that's just from my perspective. Like, I'm just seeing how you're handling this and, like, all the emotions that you're being put under. And it's like, I, I don't know. It kind of, like, upsets me. Uh, hmm. Okay. So, Taurus, I pulled some clarifiers for their side with the Awakening card. They have the Four Swords. Um, right now, they have the Chariot card in the reverse for them, which is signaling to me that I don't see them themselves taking action, Taurus. So, I'm going to be honest here. What this is playing out to me is like, um, you've been trying to make it work with this connection. The only thing that, remember what I said earlier, where it's like, I think that action needs to happen in order for something to happen in this connection, or it's, otherwise it's just going to stay in this limbo. I don't think something's going to happen unless you kind of like, not throw an ultimatum to them, Taurus, but just choose yourself and just like keep it moving and move on from them. Because I feel like that's the only way that they're going to get a different perspective with this Ace of Swords and they have to be in their feelings a little bit. They have to miss you a little bit. They, it does seem like they're taking you for granted on some level. They may not know that you're going into these spirals and the severity of it, Taurus, right? But, you know, they definitely are not putting as much effort or energy into this as they could because, you know, they're just so used to you putting in all the effort. They're so used to you, Taurus, putting in the t uh, effort in terms of conversation. To be the first one to text, to double text, to triple text, right? To try to always hang out with them. And I feel like they, you need to do like a, do a Uno reverse card on them. And be like, actually, I'm going to keep on moving because I know I can have other offers come to me. And you have to let go of that fear and just, you know, um, have trust, have faith. Faith is going to be a big thing for you, Taurus. Uh, the clarifiers that I pulled for your Ace of Fire, four cards came out. We have the Two of Wands coming out. 
we have the Ace of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, and then we have the Nine of Swords coming out again. So definitely, I this, there does seem to be a connection here. You're not crazy, Taurus, in that, that there is some depth here, right? I'm not going to say soulmate or twin flame. That's for you to decide. But this is when the Ace of Cups comes forward. This is an affirmation that there is some depth here. So, but it is bringing you anxiety, right? This Nine of Swords is following into the overall connection of this energy. Um, and just because there's a depthful connection doesn't mean that they're meant to be in your life forever. That is something I want to just point out. Um, Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, this is an energy of kind of reclusiveness, of where it is just you and your animals, right? Of uh, being on this path, like being willing to just acknowledge and be like, okay, like I'm okay to be by myself for a little bit longer. I feel like once you embrace that and truly let go of this person um, and make them miss you, that's when they have, that's when they realize, that's when their heart chakra opens, Taurus, and that's when they're like, oh, I really want this. I really miss Taurus. I actually really love Taurus, right? And that's when they start having that Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands forward movement. But I don't see that movement happening for, um, on their side of things because of that chariot being in the reverse for them until they're made to have to take action, until they realize that they're going to lose you if you don't, if they don't uh, do something about this. But right now it just seems really unfair on your side of things, Taurus, just because it's like, it seems like you're the one that's being affected the most mentally because it's like you're putting all this effort in and not getting much back and you're taking it hard. You're internalizing it. And it's just like, it's, it's just not fair to you. Right. Um, it's interesting. 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 Did I look at the back of the deck? Nine of cups. Yeah. I feel like this is just, it doesn't seem like it right now, but I really do see this, um, at the end, when it comes to this connection, bringing you towards happiness. Um, even if that is a calling for you to separate yourself right now from this person, it is going to bring you to happiness. Even if it doesn't sound like it would, or even if it doesn't feel like it would, it, it's, tarot is showing to me that overall you're going to be happy, whether it's with this person or another person. Uh, but yeah, Taurus, that's the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, Taurus, I love you so much. Bye.